Hi, kindergarten. Um, so I was thinking about what story to read you today. And I realized that we have the news on a lot at our house right now on the radio. And you might be hearing about different states. And do you know what you learn about in first grade? You learn all the states and capitals in the United States. So as I was going through our books, I came across this guy called The Scrambled States of America, and I thought you might like it. This book is so old. It's from when I was in college. I did one of my student teachings was actually in first grade. So let's learn about The Scrambled States of America. Okay. Well, it was your basic ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were waking up, having their first cup of coffee, and reading the morning paper. They were enjoying the beautiful sunrise. Everyone, except for Kansas, he was not feeling very happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling very happy at all. You always got, you got one in every family. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long, we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. We never meet any new states. Sound familiar? Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But don't you ever want more? Yes, I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those get to know you deals. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We could have music and dancing. That's a great idea, said Nebraska. I wish I thought of it myself. So with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those waggy Midwestern states planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations. They blew up balloons. They even hired a band to play. So they're sending out their invitations. They're talking about what kind of music they like. At last, the big day came, and little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats. Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Okay, and then they've got pot food like New York cheesecake, Minnesota peas, Georgia peach pie, uh, Boston baked beans. This author was really creative. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. No holding state hands. Oh, no. I shut the page. Ugh. Okay. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, said Idaho politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking, and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places, you know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. We thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? Well, a wave of excitement swept through the room. Oh, yes, what a great idea. We should have done this years ago. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states made plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. Look at Arizona's debating whether or not they can pack their cactus. Uh, there's all, you go south, just go south. Florida is telling Minnesota. Wisconsin's packing their cheese. I mean, the essentials. It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move into their new spots. But finally, they were settled in. All the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors in a new part of the country. Oh, yes, this was a much better arrangement. Look at that. What do you think? Hmm. They're making new friends, and that's always good. 
But after a couple of days had passed, all the excitement died down. The states began to realize they were not as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched places with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty climate. And Minnesota forgot to pack her sunscreen and got an awful sunburn. Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom who took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Earthquakes. Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side and Michigan's thumb tickling his right. Okay, so over here you can see that Nevada and Mississippi fell in love. Nevada is saying, do you want to become Mississippi? You just never know with those wacky states. Worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet like in the good old days. Look at poor Hawaii. Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So even faster than they made their first trip, they packed up their things and hit the road. This is Illinois, where I grew up. Yes, my name is Illinois, and I need an airline ticket to, um, well, Illinois. Uh, no, the S is silent. Pro tip, don't say Illinois. It's Illinois. See? These states are all going back home. New York gets a taxi. They're carpooling. As the sun set across the country, all the states from A to W were back in their very own homes. The states were happy to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. All night, you can come in. All the states in the country, that night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they made, but most of all, very thankful to be at home, which is what I think we all are. We're very lucky to be home with our wonderful families right now. Right? Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hello. What do you learn in first grade? The capitals. The states and capitals. Was it hard to learn? A little. A little. Now do you know it all? Mm -hmm. You guys will learn it all next year. Okay, guys, have a great night. Be good to your parents and brothers and sisters. Bye.